Released in March 1991, the Apple IIe card is a compatibility card which allows compatible Macintosh computers, like the Color Classic, to run software designed for the Apple II series of computers, with the exception of the 2GS. In this video, I'll be showcasing a complete in-box Apple IIe card, which you see right here, complete with the rare Y cable that I picked up recently from an estate sale for a vintage computer enthusiast. Hey Brad Pitt, what's in the box? Let's find out. Put the gun I down. I saw you with the box. What was in the box? Because I envy your normal life. Put the gun down, David. It seems that envy is my sin. Oh, what's in the box? Let's open the box. First, we have the uh, official packing list. Packing list for Apple IIe card. Let's zoom in here. Not zoom in, but bring it up close to the camera. It shows you everything that would come in a complete in box. 2E card, you get the 2E card, the cable, the standoff, the manual, the startup disk, the warranty card, and the software license agreement. Good to know if you're wanting to have all the pieces that go to one of these. Important information, I won't read it, but you can uh, pause if you need to to see what it says if you're curious. Then we have what looks to be the registration card. Yes, the please complete and mail this registration card. Let's open that up and take a look inside. Your Apple product is an important purchase. Why, yes it is. Here is the actual registration card over here that you would fill out. And let's open this up here a little more. Uh, Apple's one year limited warranty. I wonder if I fill this out and mail it in, if they will honor the warranty. I'm not going to mail it in. <laughs> and then on here is the, uh, you know, this turns into an envelope to mail it to Apple Computer Inc. in Dallas, Texas. Which is weird because they were based early on in Cupertino, California. They're still in California, but in the Bay Area, which is basically Cupertino, California. Um, so yeah, if you know... What's up with the Dallas, Texas address? It'd be cool to know. Leave a comment. I'm thinking maybe that's where their warranty registration place was at. Uh, next up, we have the Apple IIe card software, the Apple IIe card 2E startup disk. You'll notice the seal has not been broken, so this is still new, new in package. Uh, here is the Apple license agreement. And uh, yeah, look right here. Yeah, see Cupertino, California. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, but I will be opening this up at some point when I install this uh, 2E card in my Color Classic. This is what's really cool to me is back in the day we would get nice, big, thick manuals. I mean, look at this thing. It's spiral bound, high quality, and it just loaded with information. I'm not going to show you every page. I'm just going to kind of fan through it here Let me show you you know the manual um, and this is available online in PDF format I'll put a link in the description to that if I can find one um, and if I can't find it I do have it if you need it send me a message my contact details are on my about page and I would happily send you the PDF but yeah right here Apple Computer Inc Cupertino California and now the moment you've all been waiting for Underneath the anti-static foam, we have dun, 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 the Apple IIe card in an anti-static bag. So let's pull that out and show you that. So here's the card, kind of up close for you there. This is the PDS connector that would plug into an LC machine or the Color Classic. Um, here is the connector that is for the cable, the Y cable as it's known, that gives you joystick and disk drive uh, connectors for 2E stuff. My understanding is this chip right here is actually the 2E computer on a chip, loosely based on the 2GS 2E backwards compatibility chip. Uh, here is 256K of RAM, 128KB of it is for the 2E, the other 128 KB, again, my understanding is that's used for the Macintosh to 
talk to this card and make things happen. Uh, here's the standoff that was talked about um, and why that is there. When you plug this in to your machine, it's actually upside down like this. So this gives support to the board so it's not you know rocking around in there. It's nice and solid. So when you plug in that Y cable, it's not you know teeter-tottering around and, and breaking things. So that's pretty nice that they do that. I am noticing it's got the original capacitors here and here. There's only two, which is nice. I don't see any corrosion, and I honestly don't think this card was ever used. So I'm probably going to recap it. Um, what do you think? Should I recap it or just put it in as is and let it ride? Uh, let me know in the comments. So let's put this back in the bag here. And now we're going to show you the unatanium Y cable. There are people on eBay that make these and sell them. You can still get some of these connectors, like this connector here that plugs into the board and the uh, the joystick connector, which is uh, right here. Let's show you that right in there. But this connector here for the floppy drive is uh, external floppy drive, like a Disk Duo, you know, things like that, that the later 2E disk drives. Why these are hard to find is big mess of wires basically cornered the market because they use this connector for their floppy emus um, which is a really cool device I'll put a link in the description for that as well not a sponsored video but it is a cool device so yeah this is a quick unboxing to show you the 2e card for Macintosh LC machines also the color classic which again I will be installing this into my machine at some point so stay tuned for a video on that. I'm just packing this all back up together here all nice. So I can get it out of the way to continue working on some other projects. And then I can jump onto this, getting this installed in the machine. So thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.